It's your pal, Alolavana. I picked one of my two of my two favorite water type Pokemon to fuse, and it looks kind of cool, I guess. That was just kidding a second ago. Here's my real mascot, the legendary awesomeness of awesomeness, Team Rayquaza. Well, Team Shiny Rayquaza Mega. Mega. But I guess we should get right to business, so here we are. Recently on Pokemon Emerald. No, no, I can't marry you, May. May, I can't marry you. I'm in love with your Pokemon. No, this can't be true. And your mom. No, no, no. Yes, May, I'm in love with your Pokemon and your mom. And guess what? Your father raped your Pokemon. No! Well, that was the worst soap opera ever. If you if you haven't seen my videos, you should well only have like two videos out, and one of them's messed up. It's hell, like all oh, fucking hell. So, if you want to see my videos. Hit, hit that like button and subscribe. Oh, and I heard something. If you magically just press the like button and subscribe, you get luck in your life. Mm hmm. Oh, and I heard like you'll get like all of a sudden all the legendary mythical Pokemon. Okay. My last video was made a little while ago, but I'm a kid and I need to go to school, so I don't have a lot of time to make these videos. I have to make them pretty quickly to each other. Okay, but we have to go against Rayquaza. Trico can learn some flying type moves as well as some normal type moves at the beginning. You know, when he turns into a Grovile, he learns some flying type moves like an aerial ace. And then when he turns into a Sceptile, he can learn Defog and stuff. Also, I'll have. I don't think he can learn Strength, though. But I'll teach him Leaf Knot or uh, Grass Knot since Rayquaza is a really heavy Pokemon. Wait, is he a really heavy Pokemon? Yes, I looked up Mega Rayquaza. I wanted to see where, where my picture came from. Anyways, uh. How. Great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot to put the Y in the U. How heavy is Rayquaza? Image images show you a light. Because I'm a stupid person. I like to see images. That doesn't tell me how heavy they are, man. Okay. This one tells me how heavy they are. Okay, how heavy they are. Yeah, four hundred and fifty-five point two pounds, which will equal a lot of damage to gra with grass knot. And I don't think that type of disadvantage even happens. It's like a poison type attack on a ground type, even though poison isn't that good if you use toxic on a ground type, which almost every Pokemon can learn in the first generation. I, I think even now, too, but, um,
something else. <laughs> Name something else. Look at those moves, though. It lives in the ozone layer far above the clouds. It cannot be seen from the ground. I wonder if that's actual Pokedex entry from another Pokemon game. Because, I mean, I know most Pokemon actually get their Pokedex entries from Pokemon games. But I actually noticed that some of them get their Pokedex entry from others. If I wish you get them damn earphones out of your head. I'm in. Okay. Up the ashtray. Where are you going? I'm going to buy me some beer. Dad, I'm videotaping. You're videotaping? Yeah, I'm taping the screen. Huh? I'm videotaping the screen. My screen? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh crap, you wasted a whole bunch of time in there. Hold up. What the heck? Normal type. First thing, it's actually a frying type. Jack and frying. Why would they still keep that? Like, couldn't they have like a bird? Come on. Pokemon is so weird in the card game. So let's get back down to business. Oh, and flying type attack to neutral just striking flying type Pokemon. So, Trico. Oh, you ace for me. Good. I've already moved you. And come on. Grow violent, Septa. You can't say no to them. Pound that zigzagoon. Oh, that zigzagoon likes it. Uh oh, Trico, you're pounding a little too close to something. I don't know about you guys, but just seeing Gandalf talk to you for like that always puts me in the battle spirit. Come on, do I really have to play this song again? Come on, you'll like it, right? Well, there we go. Me and Trico have won. After going through a minute and a half of agonizing awesomeness, of weirdness, of love. Mm. You touch my jaw. You know what? I've always thought of Professor Birch as a rapist. And he brings little kids into his laboratory 
by drawing them in with Pokemon. Little child, do you want your Pokemon? Here, I'll give you a poke a mon. Oh, you have a hot mom? Oh, pokey mom. Ha ha ha. See, that's that's always how I sing Professor Birch. No other professors. Cause I don't know. Professor Oak seems too old. Well For some reason you only have Professor Oak in both Sinnoh and Ju uh, Judo and Kanto. You saved me. Thanks a lot. I know, right? You just wanted to die, didn't you? Oh! Hi, you're Zach. Um, uh, no, I'm Jeffrey. God, man. Don't you know this stuff? I've been living to you next to you for like freaking nine minutes. You should know this stuff by now. I'm Jeffrey. Professor Birch. So, Zach, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a uh, pool. I don't understand what that word is! Zach received Trico. Yes, I will nickname Trico. I will nickname Trico. L E A. There we go. I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid, May, is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Don't you think it might be a good idea to see May? Yes! Great! May should be happy too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a Pokemon trainer. Well, I have a Pokemon, Trico, which is a Leafy, and I will tell you the reason why. Oh, the next one for 31 minutes. Okay. So I have a story why I call... My Trico and every other uh, grass type Pokemon I catch, Leafy. And you'll just have to hear about it next video. So, get the next video and hurry. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button in the face and subscribe to my channel. And you must believe that there will be more Pokemon. More Pokemon. Walkthroughs. No matter what you haters say. I got a Pokemon right here. That song, uh, You Touch My Trolla Law, was put together by Zeke97. Thank you, Zeke.